Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which converts a given binary tree into a doubly linked list. First, let us take an example. The left and right pointers in nodes are to be used as previous and next pointers respectively in the converted doubly linked list. The order of nodes must be same as the in order of the given binary tree. The first node of the in-order traversal must be head node of the linked list. Now let us have a look at the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We call the bt to dll function with root node and head ref which we initially set to null. Since root is null, we recursively convert the right subtree first. So we pass the right child of 10 which is 15. Hence, root points to 15. Again, as root is not null, we pass the right child of 15 which is null. Hence, root will now point to null. As root is pointing to null, we return to the call stack. We resume execution for node 15 and now insert root to the doubly linked list. So, 15's right will point to head ref which is null. As head ref is null, we make head ref point to root. So head ref will point to 15. Next, we pass the left child of 15, which is 36. So root points to 36. As root is not null, we pass the right child of 36, which is null. Hence, root will point to null. As root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call. Now we insert root into the linked list, so 36 right will point to head ref. As head ref is not null, we make head ref left point to root, so 15's left will point to 36. Now we make head ref equal to root. Then we call the left child of 26 which is null, so root points to null. As root is pointing to null, we return to the call stack. We finish execution for node 36. Also execution for node 15 is over. Now we insert 10 to the doubly linked list. So 10's right will point to 36. As head ref is not null, we make head ref left point to root. So 36 left will point to 10. Now we make head ref equal to root. So head ref will point to 10. Next, we call the left child of 10, which is 12, so root points to 12. As root is not null, we call for the right child of 12, which is 30. As root is not null, we further pass the right child of 30, which is null. Since root is pointing to null, we return to the call stack. Now root's right will point to head ref. So 30's right will point to 10 and 10's left will point to 30. Next, we make head ref equal to root. Now we pass the left child of 30 which is null. As root is pointing to null, we return to the call stack and finish execution for node 30. Next, we make 12's right point to 30 and head ref's left point to root. Now we make head ref point to 12. Then we pass the left child of 12 which is 25. So root will point to 25. As root is not null, we pass the left child of 25 which is null. Hence root will point to null. Since root is pointing to null, we return to the call stack. Next we make 25 right point to head ref and head ref's left point to 25. Also head ref will be equal to 25. We pass the left child of 25 which is null. As root points to null, we return to the call stack. Execution for node 25 and node 12 gets over. Also, we have finished execution for node 10 and we have the final doubly linked list. Now let us have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of n complexity. Here and are the number of nodes in the binary tree. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.